in this video, I'm looking at what the best DAW is for music production for you, and you might already have it. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast. Now, there's many people out there who are going to tell you whatever their own personal favorite DAW is, they're going to say, well, that's the best one for you. And that might not be true. The truth is the best DAW for you is the one that you're comfortable with and the one that you know how to use. Now, if you're new to this whole world of recording music onto computers and you don't have a preference yet, you haven't really tried any programs yet, I've got nine different digital audio workstations that I'm going to recommend to you. And these are some of the best ones that are available right now. So you can give these a try and find out what one might be best for you. Now, I recommend downloading two or three of these and giving them a good test drive to see if you're comfortable with them. And then you can move on if you're not, but at least you gave it a try. Now, links to all of the programs mentioned in this video are down in the description. So let's jump in. And the first program on the list is Cakewalk by BandLab. And the reason why I bring this one up first is because it's completely free and there's no limitations. So you can have unlimited tracks, projects, and you can add third party plugins if you want. It does come with a decent collection of effects and some instrument plugins too. Now I'm going to include a link to my video showing you how to install Cakewalk so you can make sure that you get all of those plugins because it is a little different. You don't automatically get them when you just choose to install it. Now the user interface of Cakewalk by BandLab is fairly traditional. It's similar to like a Pro Tools style user interface and it also features a lot of pro features so you can go pretty deep into this program if you wanted. Cakewalk used to be a premium paid for DAW that was called Sonar Platinum, and then BandLab took it over and made it completely free, and they don't have any upsell options or anything like that. It's just free with no money expected from you. Cakewalk by BandLab is a Windows only DAW. The next digital audio workstation on the list is another free one. This is Traction Waveform Free. Again, this one is unlimited, so you can have unlimited tracks and projects, plus you can bring in third-party plugins if you wanted to. It does include some decent effects and a couple of instruments, but you're likely going to want to add third-party plugins anyway, so that doesn't really matter too much. Waveform Free is the exact same bass program as Traction Waveform Pro. The difference is that Waveform Pro includes some added instruments and some advanced features, but not having any of those things are going to hinder your music creation at all. Those are just kind of bonus things. So don't think that going with Traction Waveform Free is going to make you miss out on anything that's important. And if you wanted to upgrade to Traction Waveform Pro, it actually doesn't cost a lot to do that either. The user interface of Traction Waveform is a little different. Now they deliver everything that you need on a single screen. So you're not hopping around from screens or anything. It's all right in front of you when you need it. And I really like this approach as it allows me to just focus on music making and not fussing with a user interface. Traction Waveform Free is available on Mac, Windows, Linux, and there's even options to install on Raspberry Pi. The next DAW is one of the more popular options. This is FL Studio from ImageLine. Now this one is not free, but you can download the demo for free and it's the full unlocked program and you can continue to use it for as long as you like, but you can't load any of your saved projects. So you can save them, you just can't reload them. But if you plan on buying it, then that's fine as you'll be able to open those projects when you purchase FL Studio later on. Now, the great thing is you get lifetime upgrades for free when you purchase FL Studio. So if they were to upgrade to FL Studio 25 and you bought it at FL Studio 10, you're not going to need to pay again and you're always going to get the latest version. Now, I bought it years ago and I still enjoy my free upgrades. FL Studio includes a ton of effects and instruments, so you can start making music inside the box right away. Now, the workflow is fairly different from all of the other DAWs. Now, I personally found it pretty easy to get started with it way back when I got into recording. And if you're looking to use step sequencers, then this one is definitely for you. It really excels at electronic music and working with virtual instruments or loops, but you can also record into it as well. 
I've made rock tracks in FL Studio, no problem. Pricing starts at $99, but I do recommend starting with at least the producer edition, which is $199. You can get FL Studio on Mac and Windows. All right, before I get to the next one on the list, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this video so far and getting some value out of it, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now, the next digital audio workstation on the list is another one that's extremely popular for electronic music styles. This is Ableton Live. And Ableton Live is a very cool DAW. It can be used in a more traditional way with the recording and editing in a timeline, but you also get the session view and this can help with composing songs or performing live. You load samples or MIDI clips into the tracks, and then you can trigger the tracks as you like. And you can record this, which puts all of those clips that you trigger in the order that you trigger them into the timeline, so you can go back and then you can listen to what you just created, and you can edit it as you like. And sometimes the best beats and sounds come from freestyling and Ableton allows you to easily capture your freestyles and transform it into a song. Ableton Live is very popular with beat creators, DJs, and pretty much any electronic music style, but you can use it for recording bands or whatever else you want too. It's extremely versatile. Now you get a lot of effects and instruments with it and you can bring in third-party effects and instruments if you want. Pricing starts at $99 for the intro version and they even offer payment options for all of their versions to make it even easier for you to get into their software. You can also download a 30-day free trial and give the full version a good test drive, but if you purchased an audio interface or MIDI keyboard, you may have gotten a license for Ableton Live Lite, which is the complete program, but it has an 8-track limit. Ableton Live is available on Windows and Mac. The next DAW is one that more and more studios are switching to. This is Presonus Studio One. I really like the workflow of this one. It's designed to help you quickly record, edit, and mix music. It takes the classic DAW layout, but it adapts it to a more modern workflow. Beat makers and electronic music creators will feel at home with this digital audio workstation, along with bands and more rock-focused musicians. The chord track can be a great way to come up with chord progressions, or you can audition some progressions before you commit to them. It's a great songwriting tool that can take your songwriting to the next level, and it comes with some great quality instruments and effects that can be used in a variety of situations, including the integrated Melodyne pitch correction, which is a great tool. Pricing starts at just $99, and they also have monthly membership options that will keep you always up to date, Plus you get all of the Presonus plugins and much more for just $15 a month. There is a free version called Studio One Prime and that one has some limitations, but you can download it and see if the workflow works for you. Presonus Studio One is available on Mac and Windows. This next one has been around for a long time. This is Avid Pro Tools. Now this used to be considered the industry standard and many pro studios likely still think of it as the industry standard as the old school guys will still be using Pro Tools because this is what they know and it's a solid program so why learn something else? But it definitely doesn't have the stranglehold on the industry like it used to. Pro Tools has been used on a huge amount of hit songs, and if you're thinking of getting into audio engineering more seriously, or maybe you want to work in or own a studio one day, then you should probably learn Pro Tools, even if you're not going to use it as your main DAW, as you're likely going to run into it quite a bit, and the skills that you learn in Pro Tools are going to translate into other music production software. Pro Tools comes with 115 plugins, and this includes an assortment of professional quality effects and instruments. This is a great choice for home studio owners that plan on recording bands or large numbers of inputs at the same time, but it can also be a great choice for solo artists and electronic music creators as well. You can actually download a free limited version called Pro Tools First, and you can take that for a bit of a test drive to see if it works for you. Now, the free version doesn't include all of the plugins, but it does come with some great effects and a library of loops and samples. Avid likes to work on their membership model, so pricing starts at $29.99 per month, but they do offer perpetual licenses if you want to purchase it outright, and they also have annual pricing as well. 
Pro Tools is available on Mac and Windows. Next up is a digital audio workstation that I don't think gets the recognition that it deserves. This is the Reaper DAW. Even though it's making its way into more and more studios, Reaper for some reason gets frowned upon in forums. But this is an incredible DAW and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Reaper gives you that traditional workflow that some musicians really like, and if you've worked with Pro Tools or you like the look and feel of Pro Tools, Reaper has a very similar feel, and most of the shortcuts are the same as well. You get a large variety of effects with it, but no instruments. However, you can find free instrument plugins all over the internet, so that's not really a negative. Now I'm going to include a link down in the description to my video that has 50 of the best free instruments. Reaper is a great choice for bands and home studio owners that want a budget-friendly but very powerful digital audio workstation, and of course, solo musicians and beat creators can take advantage of this powerful DAW as well, and you're going to get great results with it. A license for Reaper is just $60 for an individual or just over $200 for commercial use. And by commercial use, this means for more pro studios that charge money to bands or artists to record. You can download the Reaper demo, which is completely unlocked for 60 days, which gives you plenty of time to give it a good test drive. And then you can continue using it in trial mode for as long as you like. But if you do enjoy the software and you continue using it as your main DAW, please purchase a license as it's going to help them to keep it up to date and to continue to add more great features. You can get Reaper on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Plus you can even install it on a USB drive for a very portable option too. Up next is Reason from Reason Studios. With Reason 11, which is the current version as of this recording, you get some very high quality instruments and effects. Now, in addition to the traditional linear audio editing timeline, you also get access to the studio rack where all of your effects and instruments are going to be housed. And this is similar to a real world studio. Also, the console style mixer is similar to a real studio giving you a cool classic vibe with some high quality sounds. And there's also an easy to use auto-tune pitch corrector tool that's built right into it and this makes pitch correction very easy. Reason 11 can appeal to bands, beat makers, and solo artists that want something a little different and more analog feeling with instruments and effects that will help you to stand out from the crowd. Reason for years has been looked at as mainly an instrument as it does include some very nice sounding instruments and you can also load the Reason rack into your main DAW and then you can use it as an instrument. But with this latest version of Reason, it's become a very nice DAW all on its own. Pricing starts at $399 and Reason is available on Mac and Windows. The next DAW is another one that's been around for a long time and has really built up a following. This is Steinberg Cubase. Now I've said this in previous videos, but for years, Cubase was the software that people debated about being better than Pro Tools. And people still debate that, but with Pro Tools not being as popular and there being more and more DAWs out there, it's not as huge a debate anymore. Steinberg Cubase is a very powerful digital audio workstation that works very well with modern musicians. It comes with several great quality instruments and effects. The layout is similar to the traditional style of Pro Tools, but with its own unique twist that's intended to help speed up your workflow. Cubase can be great for solo musicians, bands, electronic musicians, and home studio owners. There are several editions depending on your needs, the Pro and Artist options require you to use a USB-E licensor, which can be annoying for some users. But if you don't mind that, this is a great program. And pricing starts at $99 for the Elements version, which you don't need a USB-E licensor for. And you can also download a 30-day free trial of Cubase Elements. Steinberg Cubase is available on Mac and Windows. Now, I just want to give out a little bit of advice if you're just getting into music production or maybe you've been at it for a while and you've been hearing some different things. Now, the first piece of advice is don't let anyone tell you what the best DAW for you is. Unless you're asking some questions and they're being honest with you saying it sounds like you might like this DAW based on whatever you told them. But if they're just saying the best DAW for you is this because it's the best and I use it all the time doesn't mean it's the best for you. 
Now, this next thing is a lot of us watch YouTubers making music, or maybe you see them on other social media platforms making music and you see their DAW and you're like, oh, I want to sound like that guy. And if I get that DAW, I'm going to sound like them. But what you're forgetting about is the experience that that person has, and they know right away how they're going to approach the mix, how they're recording things in, and maybe they're using some parallel buses to get the sounds that they want. And you can do all of this in your DAW as well. The more comfortable you get with your DAW, the more you're going to learn all of these little mixing techniques that are going to get you to sound more polished, like whatever YouTuber or social media person you're watching. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the DAW that they're using that makes them sound like that, unless it could be a specific plugin, like an instrument that's included with that DAW. And if you like that instrument, then you might have to get that DAW if it's only included in there. But a lot of the different software, they will offer their instruments and plugins as separate purchases if you just want those instruments or plugins. So you don't need to get that specific DAW. So my big piece of advice is don't jump around from program to program. Try sticking with one. If you find one that you are comfortable with, you're able to make some music with it, stick with that one. Try to learn every little detail about it and try to learn all of the little tricks that you need to make your mixes sound more pro. And you're going to get there. There's going to be a learning curve for all of these programs. It doesn't matter which one you choose. There's a learning curve for it. And the learning curve is about the same for each of these programs. But do try to get past that initial learning stage where you're just making music in the program and you're not thinking so much about how do I do this? You're just recording music, you're mixing it, and you're not worrying about the software. Now, if you want to check out that video with 50 of the best free VST instrument plugins, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.